So recently what happened is that the US government's national debt has crossed 33 trillion. This is incredible because just a year ago, it was at 30 trillion. And we all know that the government's primary source of income is from individual income tax. I don't know about you, but I get taxed a lot and I don't make enough. And that's a stress point. And I feel that most of us will agree that our salaries are not keeping up with inflation. That means that something's gotta give or we gotta find extra sources of income. Now, today we're gonna talk about two of these extra sources of income, qualified dividends versus high yield savings account. Now, one of these will make it so that you don't have to pay tax. So it's a tax hack and it's 100% legal. Now, I'm not gonna deep dive into the HYSA because I deep dive in it in this video here, which you should check out after. But basically what a high yield savings account is, it's, it's a savings account that pays more than 4%. Now, a qualified dividend, as Investopedia puts it, are dividends that are taxed at the capital gains rate which is lower than the income tax rate that most people get taxed with. Now, while we're on the topic of taxes, what I learned over the years is through business and business failures that I didn't learn in school are tax write-offs. Simply put, let's say you have a YouTube channel. That's a content creation business. That means that the things you buy, MacBook Pros, cameras, let's say flights and hotels, if you go to shooting points, basically you can write those off. And general rule of thumb that I use is I take the retail price and I take 30% off that retail price. And it's incredible that people don't take advantage of this. I remember telling my friends about this, oh, how I'm writing off basically a lot of expenses and I'm getting back a tax refund of $17,000. I did my video here that you can check out. And their response was, all right, I'm definitely gonna take a look into it. And you know what? They just never take a look into it. They never start and they continue paying the government 100% of their taxes when they could easily just pay just 70% of their taxes and that 30% that they get back as refund, they can spend on whatever they want. And this is what I call the employee mentality. And this mentality is what I think is gonna keep people in the middle class forever. Now, just switching the mentality of being able to do write-offs is going to save you money on one end from taxes. But what we wanna do is do that and also to not pay taxes at all. And one way to do that is through qualified dividends. And let's take a look at NerdWallet who gave us a dividend tax rate for qualified dividends in 2023. So for qualified dividends, if you are single from $0 to 44,625, you're gonna get taxed at a 0% tax rate. Similarly, if you are married, the level is from zero to $89,250. Now, if you earn, between 44,626 to 492,300 if you are single, you're gonna get taxed to 15% tax rate. If you're married from 89,251 to $553,850. Now, they're gonna tax you at a 20% tax rate. If you are single and you earn $492,301 or more than qualified dividends, or if you're married and filing jointly $553,851 or more. And what does this mean? This means that after watching Yellowstone, you decide to move to Wyoming. And fun fact, most of Yellowstone was filmed in Montana, but in real life, about 96% of the Yellowstone is actually located in Wyoming. So you decide to move to Wyoming, and according to SoFi, the average childless single individual needs only 32K per year to live a pretty comfortable life over in Wyoming. Now, if you have stocks, ETFs, or mutual funds that are paying you around 44,000 in di qualified dividends, that basically means you pay no taxes on those dividends. And the difference between 44,000 and 32,000 is 12K. So you're basically paying no taxes, you live comfortably, and you pocket 12K in your pocket for you to have fun with. So that plan is much better than the high yield savings account because if you put your money in the high yield savings account and earn interest, you actually get taxed at the ordinary income tax rate. Now, with qualified dividends, if you earn more than 44K in qualified dividends, you're gonna get taxed. If you earn more than half a million, you're gonna get taxed at 15% and 20% respectively on the mainland. So basically I thought about this a lot because what I wanna do is at one end, I want to be able to reduce taxes through tax write-offs. And on the other hand, I just don't wanna pay taxes at all. So what I did is I basically asked. I asked God and when you ask, you will receive. So this is how he responded. He responded, Donald, you gotta to move to Puerto Rico. And remember guys, Puerto Rico is not a state, but it is a US territory and it does use US 
dollars. But the difference between Puerto Rico and other states is that Puerto Rico has Tax Act 22. And basically what Tax Act 22 says is that you have 0% tax on dividends and interest. So a qualified individual's income from dividends and interest are exempt from Puerto Rico income taxes during the exemption period. And that my friends is how you live tax free and let the next sucker shoulder your tax burden when it comes to paying off the US national debt. And in order to really win on this game, you will have to jump on the qualified dividend bandwagon because that's your ticket of not needing to pay taxes. And you will also watch this next video on how to get a $17,000 tax refund using AI.